everyone, and welcome back to Madden 15, my player franchise, and this is episode number 24, and if you guys have missed some of the previous episodes, we are uh, still second string middle linebacker, undrafted free agent out of Delaware, and 85 overall, so uh, right now on the season, uh, as we go in and just kind of look at some of the season stats, have 44 tackles, 6 tackles for losses, 2 sacks, as well as a couple force fumbles and uh, fumble recovery. So uh, not too bad right now overall. And we were first string there for a little bit, but uh, once we got Brandon Spikes, uh, obviously we were moved down to second string. And then I just want to go and kind of see what the uh, the league leaders are at. And you can see uh, Luke Keekley had 134 tackles, so we're a little off pace uh, as far as that's concerned. If you're enjoying the series, guys, please remember to uh, drop a like, comment, subscribe. I do enjoy seeing the thumbs up, and also if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Twitter at V12TNEagle. Uh, we're going to jump in uh, to the first of two games, and we're going to start this one uh, versus Seattle. And we are both sitting at 10 and 2 right now, uh, so both obviously kind of running away with our respective divisions. And this should be a, a pretty important game as far as the uh, the playoff seating as it stands. So hopefully we can come out of this one with a victory. Our first action kind of uh, late in the first quarter. So you can see a third and six here for Seattle. And I kind of got caught in the middle there and wasn't able to quite stay with uh, the receiver running across. So I would have to say, you know, kind of put that one on me. Now my zone was the other way, but I still kind of have to follow him across the middle of the field, which I was unable to do. And Seattle had scored on that, uh, on that drive. And then they'll get another opportunity here driving down close to our red zone. Uh, again, with us being down 7 nothing, this is uh, now getting to the point where, okay, we need to do something because defensively they are kind of shutting us down uh, here in the first quarter, not getting many yards at all. Uh, but now it's second and 10, uh, probably going to be the last play in the first quarter. So we need to get in there and do something. Uh, and we were able to do that. I kind of plugged the hole there. That's the reason why I showed that play. I didn't make the tackle, but uh, kind of made the, the running back kind of redirect which was able to uh, to get us in. And then here, I, I mean, they called a touchdown. I didn't even see where he got to the goal line. Um, but uh, obviously, I guess the ball got across. Uh, so that uh, was able to get them in there. And then moving all the way into the fourth quarter, it's just not much was happening prior to that. A huge play here on third and two. And I am able to get across, scrape across the line of scrimmage and make a great tackle there uh, to kind of bring him down. But we are still down. 19-7 here again uh, late in the fourth quarter time running out not looking good and quite honestly I mean Seattle's defense just I mean they just shut us down offensively uh, and looking at the stats and everything and we just just wasn't a lot there in that game for us individually or as a team and that's kind of frustrating as well as the offensive has been playing you can see there Nick Foles uh, had plenty of yards 301 yards but was just unable to get it uh, in the end zone, so we would take the loss there. Drop us to 10-3. and three. Uh, Not that big of a deal, other than the fact that we are more than likely going to see them again uh, in the playoffs if things continue this way. Uh, obviously, we'll have no issue getting in, and I can't imagine that they will either. So hopefully, uh, going forward, we can uh, kind of rectify some of the offensive situations there as far as getting in the end zone. And now uh, we'll jump right into the next game, and this one is against Dallas. Now, Dallas is... Uh, you know, the first game we played, and we played uh, against Tony Romo, but then, quite honestly, it, he had gotten hurt in that game, and I don't know that he's returned. I don't know if it was a season-ending injury or, or what have you, but I don't believe he has returned for Dallas, which is probably some of the reason for their struggles, as well as DeMarco, uh, DeMarcus Murray, uh, as he has not played either. It's been uh, Halo Jr. Uh, that's been in the backfield for them. So, um, hopefully, uh, we can take advantage of that. And uh, right now we get taken advantage of is uh, Roy Hilliard Jr. just puts on the spin move and makes us miss badly there. But uh, we were able to score in our first possession to put us up 7-0. And then here I just get caught inside. I couldn't get off the block, uh, you know, to really get in on that tackle. So uh, couldn't do much on that one. But here we'll move into the second quarter. We're still up 7-0. Uh, Dallas is going to have the ball here get trying to get to the outside. And I'm able to get in a little bit on that tackle, but uh, probably will not get credit uh, even for a half tackle. But you can see defensively what a great job that we're doing there. Eight rushes for 23 yards. We will take that all day. And then here Dallas has a first down. Three minutes left in the third quarter. They had scored a field goal. And then here we're going to drop off in our zone, but we'll notice something coming across the middle. And 
he gets laid out. What a great hit right there. Uh, and that's kind of just the recognizing uh, what our zone responsibility is and then getting back into uh, the area to cover the crossing receiver. But they were able to score another field goal. So now in the fourth quarter, uh, a little under seven minutes ago, so the fourth quarter just starting. And again, this is my fault. I moved in a little too close on my hook zone rather than staying back. And Jason Witten, who has uh, been a career eagle killer, is able to get behind us and score the easy touchdown. Now here, uh, this is a view, obviously, I'm not on the field because we're down 12-7. But uh, Redding held the ball way too long and we're able to get him down for the safety to make it 12-9 uh, with just over two minutes left. And then you can see here, I'll sim forward as we get the ball from that safety. And we will score there as well. Uh, and then we would actually add on another field goal. Uh, so we would actually get out of that game with a 19-12 victory. And that was pretty solid. But that will do it for this video, guys. I will see you next week. Have a good one.